what I've done is to start access, give the access name, um, the database a name called relational database. Now, in previous access work, I've just tried creating uh, tables. This time, I'm going to try to relate the tables. So I'm going to go into create table by using wizard. By clicking onto there, double clicking onto it, and this will bring up the table wizard. Now, I'm going to keep this very simple. First of all, I'm going to click on to customers. And I'm going to create three very simple things. The first one is customer ID. I click on the single chevron and put it over to there. The second one is company name. I can press the chevron or double click onto it. It will jump across there. And the third thing I want is the billing address. Okay, now I realize that if you were creating a business database for yourself, this table might have a few more things in it. But I've tried to keep it simple. Alright, on to next. Call all tables, tables. So, customers, table. Yes, allow Microsoft to set the primary key. On to next. Now it's saying enter data once you've pressed finish. Okay, let's do that. The company name, Jack Barnett 21, billing address, YouTube road. That's it. That's as much detail as I want. So now I shall go to File and Close and then just close it. Ouch. Didn't really want to do that, so I'll open that again. Right. Now there it is. I've got my customer table. Now, what I'd like to do now, using the wizard, is to create a related table. So I double click on that. Now this time I'm going down this sample table and I'm going down to invoices. Okay, here are the, all the aspects but I'm just, just going to take a few. The first one, invoice ID. Now of course I want customer ID. I'd like invoice date. That's as much as I'll put on there. Okay, on to next. Invoices table. Always give your tables the name of table. On to next. It'll set the primary key. On to next. Now what I have to do is to relate this table, all right, relationships. The tables aren't related, no. One record in the invoice table, no. One record in the customers table will match many records in the invoices table. Okay, I'll do that. So, I've formed a relationship between my two tables. Next. Yes, enter data into there and finish. Customer ID, in the previous table, the customer ID was number one. I'll put that in. The invoice date, well I'm going to put that as 2708.09, since that's today's date. I'm not going to put any more details in there. I'm going to save this table, and then I'm going to close this. So now I've got two related tables. 
You design a database by creating tables. Now I'll ask some questions. Double click onto there and I shall click on to create a query in design view. Here we are. Add the customer table. Add the invoice table. Close this. Now if I open this up you can see the invoice table, you can see the customer table. Or I can put it the other way around by moving it like that. Now if I bring down the names in this invoice by double clicking it, it jumps down to there. Customer ID, customer name, billing address, and then let's put the invoice date. So I've got all the details that I'd like to come in my query. Now all I need to do is to go to Query and Run Query and there it is. What I've managed to do is to bring details from both tables into my query. If you imagine that I had full tables, bringing information from both tables enables me to make um, invoices out with the addresses on properly. It enables me to pull lots of information together. OK, I'm going to close that. Yes, I wish to save that. Now that is... Invoice and customer query 28 27 stroke 08 stroke 09. There you are, I've given it a name. That is how to form a relationship in. relational databases. Thank you.